Good afternoon and welcome to the Midday Mall for Wednesday the 8th of September. Continuing with McShane's readings, today we read 1 Corinthians 13. Following on from chapter 12, where Paul has spoken about the, the gifts that the Spirit would give and the abilities that, that are given to people to build up the church for the common good. In chapter 13, he goes on and says that no matter what we have, no matter what we do, if we're acting outside of love, it is pointless. He says the greatest way, the most excellent way, is the way of love. And he then goes with a well-known passage of what love is like, describing love to us. But I was struck by verse 8, where he says, Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. And then in verse 13, Now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. And I'm struck by that, that, that Paul saying that everything eventually passes away. Even good things. And he's not saying there's anything wrong with prophecy and, and, and tongues and knowledge. They're good things. But they're not ultimate because they're temporary. They are here for now. But out in the end, they will no longer be around. But love will continue. And that challenged me to think of what it is we invest our time and our effort in. And how much of what we do is fairly short term. Are we putting our effort into things that will endure? Or are we looking for what is best for us now? And ultimately, the, the Christian life is, is a life lived and it is full of richness and it's full of abundance and it's full of blessing and it's full of joy and all those things now. But that's not why we do it, because that is as nothing compared to what we look forward to in eternity. All these things will pass away, so they, they're, they're not of ultimate consequence. But eternity lies ahead of us and love goes into eternity. Faith, hope and love. These will endure, and hopefully Hardy does not, so we will see. So um, as you go through life, just stop and ask yourself time and again, am I investing in stuff for the short term that will only be around for uh, a matter of weeks, months, maybe just years? Or am I investing in eternity? Am I putting my effort into what will last? Um, and that is a challenge as Christians. Let us live for eternity, because that's where we've been called to. Be encouraged as you go through life and know his blessings.